What's up guys and welcome to Myth Busting Mondays episode 56. This is the show where we bust the myths that you guys leave in the comment section below. So if you have any myths you would like to see featured in next week's episode, all you've got to do is leave those in the comment section right now or at the end of the video and we'll see which ones get featured next week. We are aiming for 3,115 likes on this video guys, but without further ado, let's get on to the first myth of today's show. So the first myth of today's show guys hasn't actually been sent in by anybody. Yesterday, I posted a video about the mind-blown gobblegum and also the Newtonian negation gobblegum as well, showing the effects on every single animal or enemy inside of the zombies universe on Black Ops 3. I forgot to include the Thrasher from Zed's Bone Oshima, and you guys sent in around a million comments saying, where's the Thrasher? So here we go, boys. The Thrasher, Zed's Bone Oshima, Mind Blown, and Newtonian Negation do not work. Mind Blown just simply doesn't do anything, and the Newtonian Negation can't do anything because the Thrasher blows up when you kill it. So there you go, guys. The first myth of today's show has been busted. Neither of those gobblegums work on the Thrashers on Zed's Bone Oshima, but let's get on to the first real myth of today's show. So the first real myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by Electric Smile. And he says, Myth, after doing the Easter egg steps to get the upgraded guns from the box and Takio's Katana, if you get the GG crate power gobblegum, do you get a random bullet effect? So we all know that the crate power gobblegum allows you to use the, any mystery box in any map and you end up with a pack-a-punched weapon just by using that gobblegum. It's pretty much wall power, but on the mystery box. Now, we know by doing these Easter egg steps where we place the wisp into Samantha's box in Samantha's room on the Revelations Easter egg, that after that step, all weapons from the mystery box are then pack-a-punched. But what happens if we use the crate power gobblegum with the pack a punch weapons that's already in the box. Do they get double upgraded and give us a random bullet effect like Blast Furnace or Deadwire? Let's check this out, dude. So I've got the Crate Power Gobblegum. I'm going to go and hit that mystery box and I'm going to also pick up the weapon in three, two, one. Boom! Whoa! Oh, so it uses the Crate Power Gobblegum, but it doesn't actually do anything. So, it's kind of useless. Please do not use the Crate Power Gobblegum if you've already done this Easter Egg step because it's completely useless. You don't get any upgraded weapons. But one thing I did notice a while ago is that if you upgrade your weapon already in the map, so you use Double Pack Punch and you end up with Blast Furnace or Deadwire, if you then put it back into the Mystery Box and get it out after the Samantha step, your special bullet effects will be stored on those guns, which is really cool. But thank you so much for sending that in, Electric Smile. I appreciate that a lot, dude. And let's get on to the next myth of today's show. So the next myth of today's show, guys, is being sent in by Jagger Boggs. And he says, at Codename Pizza, what will happen if you teleport to Samantha's house and use Anywhere But Here? Pizza emoji, pizza emoji, pizza emoji. So you guys know that the Anywhere But Here gobblegum is a gobblegum inside of zombies that allows you to teleport to a random location around the map. It's got two activations and you pretty much don't know where you're going to go. You can go anywhere except from the locked off areas like the boss room and stuff like that. But what happens if we actually go into Samantha's room and then use Anywhere But Here before we pick up the Cronorium or even after we pick up the Cronorium? Will it teleport us out to another part of the map and literally break the easter egg let's check this out dude so we're currently in samantha's room and it does look like the anywhere but here gobblegum cannot be activated in this room as we see right here we see the red glow above the gobblegum that's indicating that it does not allow us to actually activate it at this time which kind of sucks ever since i started doing these mid busting videos treyarch seems to be locking down a lot more things and this is just one of them. They stopped allowing a lot of the Anywhere But Here tricks a long time ago. And this is just one of the rooms that they've 100% put that patch on where you cannot escape from it. So, there you go, dudes. You cannot escape from Samantha's house with the Anywhere But Here gobblegum. But thank you so much for sending that in, Jagger Boggs. And let's get on to the next myth of today's show. So, the next myth of today's show, guys, is being sent in by Licensed Contractor. And he says, at Codename Pizza, Newtonian negation while feeding the dragons under Isendrag. This is a great myth by the way dude it's really really cool but i gotta say to you guys it doesn't work it's really really strange i thought the game would at least glitch out a little bit but it doesn't when the dragon's hungry and he's willing to accept a zombie the zombie goes straight into the dragon when he's not they fly up in the air it's literally as simple as that i thought there would at least be a couple of glitches to do with this but nope Treyarch have got it unlocked and they've done really well at coding the game it's really good pretty impressed there but thank you so much for sending that in license contractor and let's get on to the next myth of today's show dudes so the next myth of today's show guys is being sent in by becca and she says codename pizza with two players can you use killing time and Newtonian negation to stop a zombie in mid-air 
So today I'm playing with my boy Tai Tree. If you guys haven't checked him out, it's an amazing YouTube channel. It's like seriously the most high quality content. His link will be in the description. Definitely go and subscribe to him. We can see if we can even get him to like, let's say 5,000 subscribers. We can totally do that. But let's go and check this out, dude. So my boy Tai Tree has currently got the Natonian Negage and Gobblegum on, which makes all the zombies fly up into the air. And I've got killing time. So let's flick this thing in three, two, one, boom. There we go. Go, dude. So yes, all the zombies that are currently flying up into the air with Newtonian negation do stop in midair with killing time. And another cool thing is as soon as killing time runs out, the zombies just disappear. They literally blow up, which is really cool. Instead of carrying on flying up, they just disappear, which is awesome. So thank you so much to Becca for sending that tweet in. And also thank you to Ty Tree for helping me out with doing that myth. Please go and subscribe to him. He's literally awesome. Let's get on to the next myth of today's show. So the next myth of today's show, guys, is being sent in by Fandom Hub. And he says, if you use self-medication and kill a boss, Panzer, Magua, Thrasher, etc., will you get revive now we know that the self-medication gobblegum is a brand new gobblegum added into zombies which basically gives you three quick revives but to get revived you have to kill a zombie now you do spawn in with self-medication with a ray gun so it makes it pretty darn simple to kill a zombie but what happens if i shoot all the heads off a magua except from one get down with self-medication and then shoot the final head off will we get revived let's check it out dude so we do have that magua with us right here with one head i'm gonna get down and then i'm gonna crawl all the way over to the front of the magua shoot him in the face and let's see dudes three two one yeah, there we go, dude. So self-medication does work on boss zombies as well. So that's an awesome myth. Thank you so much to Fandom Hub for sending that in. And let's get on to the next myth of today's show, guys. So the second to last myth of today's show, guys, is being sent in by Paulie. And he says, Codename Pizza, can you buy Thunder Gun ammo with Secret Shopper? And if we're going to do this, we may as well do the Apothecan Servants in Revelations as well. So we know that Secret Shopper has never allowed us to actually buy ammo off the wall for any wonder weapon at all. So not the bows, not the ray gun, not the KT4, not the ray gun Mark III. So let's go and check out if this will actually let us do it on Revelations with the Thunder Gun or the Apothecan Servant. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, dude. But once again, Secret Shopper sucks. It doesn't allow you to get Thunder Gun ammo or Apothecan Servant ammo, Ray Gun ammo, absolutely any wonder weapon in the game, which really means that this shouldn't really be an ultra mega rare. Who wants to use this to go and get ammo for a HVK when you can just go and get ammo for a HVK anyway? You know what I mean? It's pretty darn stupid. So, Secret Shopper, you once again suck, dude. But thank you so much to Paulie for sending that myth in. And let's get on to the last myth of today's show so the final myth of today's show guys has been sent in by it's max and he says hey pizza you could try buying the katana with wall power and see if it will upgrade p.s love your videos keep up the good work so guys this is it you guys know by now that you can get the katana in revelations by going into samantha's room with that wisp and placing it inside of her mystery chest once you've done that and spawned back into the map the katana is then a wall by weapon what happens if we go over to it with war power the gobblegum that literally allows you to pack a punch any war weapon on any map can we get a pack a punch katana dudes we're going over to it right now we are holding down square to get the katana and no dudes why do you have to do this to us trap i can't believe it doesn't work Dude, all we wanted was a katana. Now, I understand that we really wanted a katana, but please, please, you could have put an upgrade in there for us. Just a simple wall power upgrade would have been beautiful. But anyway, guys, that is it for Myth Busting Mondays, episode 56. Thank you so much to It's Max and everyone else that sent myths in this week. If you do want your myth featured in next week's episode, all you've got to do is leave it inside of the comment section right now, and we'll see which ones get featured next week, dudes. If you haven't already, make sure you drop that like right now, dudes. We'll for 3,115 likes on this video. You know how we do. Thank you so much to Ty Tree for helping me out with that myth as well. His link will be in the description below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and peace out.